Hello everybody and welcome to your Jupiter into Capricorn tarot reading. This reading is for every person, every zodiac sign. I'm going to pull some cards as an overall message for all of us and how this is going to impact us and then I will pull an individual card for each zodiac sign as well. So Jupiter has been in Sagittarius, the ninth house, which is its home house. That's where it belongs. That's the house it rules. And now it's moving into the 10th house to join Saturn, uh, which is the house of Capricorn. Capricorn being, um, you know, like our career, our reputation in the world, our status, all of those things. So, you know, this is going to impact a lot of us with our career and as well as, you know, being more in the spotlight, finally getting recognized, finally getting noticed, because with Jupiter moving into that 10th house with Saturn, there will be a positive return of energy. So, you know, think of Santa Claus. Have you been naughty or nice? Because if you've been nice, if you've been putting in the energy and effort and work towards goal, especially around career, you will be blessed with Jupiter moving into, you know, that 10th house, the house of Capricorn and joining Saturn. Now, um, Jupiter will be in that 10th house all the, from about the 2nd of December of 2019 all the way through, I think it's around the 20th or so of December 2020. It's, it's there for like a whole year. So all of this will be taking place over the course of the year. Now, the interesting thing is Capricorn will be with Jupiter in that 10th house until March. And then Saturn will move into Aquarius, which is going to, you know, stimulate the mental body. But it will move back out of Aquarius, back into Capricorn because it goes retrograde. And it won't move back into Aquarius until December of 2020. So just as Jupiter is moving out of Capricorn, Saturn will finally be moving out of Capricorn. And uh, they'll be moving into the house of Aquarius. So it's going to be a very interesting time um, as we you know get towards the end of the year of 2020. And just those two lining up with each other. So big, big uh, blessings to career, positive karma return. So let's pull some cards and see what spirit would like to add to all of this. And um, I'm going to pull four different blessings. All four of them could pertain to you personally or one or two or three. All right. I'm just uh, trying to get as much information since this is a general reading for everybody. So let's take a look and see what blessings come with Jupiter entering that 10th house. A blessing to life or to lift sadness. Who doesn't like to see that? A blessing to bring prosperity. Ooh, a blessing of peace after battle. Oh, this looks like it's going to be a good uh, transit of Jupiter moving into that 10th house. And a blessing to shield and safeguard you nice. So I also want to point out, um, well, and you know, that's actually significant. There's, and this is kind of an interesting message coming through is there's some of you that, um, I don't want to say you want to be famous. Um, but you, you want to be known, you want to be out there, um, whether it's something that you're creating, it's a talent of yours, there's just this urge to be known, to be seen, to be in the spotlight, and you could have been really working hard towards that, but it's like you fall on your butt every time. Well, uh, as Jupiter moves into that 10th house energy, blessing our, you know, careers, our status in the world, that is the time, that is the year for you to put yourself out there. Now, you know, um, everything requires a period where you're growing and learning and shaping and energies are aligning. Anything that we want to accomplish in our lives, like there is a process to it. So if you decide like right now, yeah, I want to put myself out there. I really want to go gung-ho with my gift or talent. Um, 
I do feel like you'll have a lot of success in that and you'll move forward much quicker than perhaps if you started in 2019 or the year before. However, if you haven't been putting in the energy and effort up to this point, you know, it's not like this return of your energy that you've already expended out into the universe with this intention. It's a different type of energy. It's more of like a boost that gets you going, okay? So if you want to start something new, especially around career or, you know, your artistic abilities, talents, and idea you have, this is a very good time to start that process, all right, because of Jupiter and it will give you a boost. And for those of you who have really been, you know, putting a lot of energy and effort towards a big change in your life. And it doesn't just have to be around career. You know, Jupiter moving in with Saturn, it's a blessing. It's like, you know, Santa Claus coming to town. Have you been naughty or nice? If you've been nice, which is putting in the energy and effort, you are going to be rewarded. And, um, you know, a blessing to lift sadness. This is talking about, you know, the way that Jupiter is going to influence your career or where you've really been directing your energy it, there's going to be a lot of movement and you see like a butterfly i guess that's a moth but um there's still a transformation right a, a moth and that's speaking to you and also kind of coming out of the darkness really stepping out stepping forward being noticed being seen being recognized and rewarded so the energy coming towards you is so positive it's lifting a sadness a heavy burden off your heart space okay and next to that is prosperity this is definitely an increase to your abundance to your money and you know hello career right and over here a blessing of peace after the battle so jupiter's movement for you guys um is really going to even things out like there's going to be a lot of positive energy returns to you throughout the year and i have the two blue candles here and there's a lot of blue in this card this card and this card so also i feel like you're going to be able to express yourself your voice is finally heard you're finally seen it's like you're emerging from the shadow into the forefront all right and this truly um again strong emphasis around career but this is a general reading so you know if there's some area of your life where you've really been putting in energy and effort to reshape and change and move in a different direction here you go okay so let's pull some more cards and gain some more insight um because it is a, a smoother period for you i don't know i'm not an astrologer but just I, I like feel the energies of the planets and you know that's my intention in doing the reading and I just feel um, Jupiter moving into Saturn's house it's a positive because Saturn is our teacher our karma balancer very stern very strict um, I just think of Saturn as like this hermit this very wise old man that has no tolerance for anything um, but you can't help but respect due to like the purity and the wisdom that vibrates from Saturn okay and now here's Jupiter which to me is a highly spiritual planet okay you know ruling the ninth house which is our higher spirituality and higher learning is bringing that energy in with Saturn and kind of balancing it out softening Saturn okay and um, especially when Saturn goes retrograde and that allows Jupiter to come in and bless. It's like the grandmother who always says, yes, here you go. Oh, you want another cookie? Here's some more, okay? So it's like Jupiter being in the house with Saturn soothes Saturn and Jupiter is able to really bless and put that, you know, push that positive energy back. Now, you know, um, there's going to be some sort of return for each and every person in their life and just depending on the depth of how much energy and effort you've been putting forward is what's going to um, come back to you and with thinking twice coming out uh, walking the straight and narrow is really going to 
be a, like a huge payoff for you and sometimes it feels like when you're doing the right thing and you're being totally honest across the board you're like why is this person who's dishonest or going about it wrong like why are they ahead well the tables are going to turn okay naughty or nice and you are going to be safe and what you accomplish in your success and what returns to you belongs to you and it's protected and safeguarded and the blue stepping forward speaking your truth your voice being heard but also here she holds the sword and you know archangel michael is associated with the color of blue and is all about protection safeguard empowerment and um, being able to cut yourself free from negative attachments so Archangel Michael is also coming through with all these energies and that means that he would love for you to call upon him and pray to him to help you you know with wherever you need in any area of your life he will help help you keep what's yours safe Okay, so this will pass. Nice. And that's coming out to clarify a uh, blessing to lift sadness. And look, spiritual guidance also attached to that. So a blessing to lift sadness. This will pass spiritual guidance. And remember, Jupiter is the ruler of the ninth house, which is higher spirituality, higher learning. That's He's coming in and he's like, look you know your sadness the heaviness whatever that is that's on your heart space it's going to lift it's going to elevate um and you're going to understand like from the inside out your soul is going to speak to you and you know our souls always speaking to us but this is very significant and special so really pay attention to what you feel within okay next is unrealistic expectations and inform yourself so this coming through is that just a really strong confirmation of those of you who have really been trying to better yourself, um, you know, educating yourself, expanding your wisdom, your consciousness, trying to make changes to your behaviors, your habit, your routine, all of those things, because you realize like you have to, you know, our emotions and our thoughts definitely play a part in our reality and our experience of reality however our effort and energy and our action behind those thoughts and those emotions are equally important um, you know you can't just dream your life away it's great to have a wonderful imagination and to dream big at all times but also as we're doing that dreaming doing the work here on the ground in real life in reality and this pair right here is saying that you know you guys have recognized that that yes it's important to dream and to be positive and to believe in the magic of the universe but it's like what can I do right now today to help me get there and so Jupiter's coming in and saying you're about to be blessed all right and that's where I was really feeling you've been putting in that energy and effort you're going to be blessed and boom here it is all right peace after the battle we have watching and happiness yay and look at um both of these cards have a like a rainbowy color theme so to me that's speaking about your chakras and there's a balance that is taking place inside you like um your chakras could have been like very distorted because when we're really upset or that we're something's heavily hanging on our heart or we're just pulled in a lot of different directions it distorts our energy and now you know being here blessing of peace after the battle this is letting you know while jupiter is in that 10th house there is going to be a more of a flow for you there's a lot more happiness and not so much sadness your chakras are uh, more aligned and you just you're feeling better now we have happy surprise and we have that rainbow colored theme um, continuing so your chakras definitely are going to get balanced I would highly recommend some Reiki okay so we have special concession because I care now I'm getting a couple of different things with this actually um, those of you where a lot of positive things are happening to you especially around career money you're um, elevating in life be weary of those who come you know with the sweet smile on their face um, wanting to you know be close to you or reconnect to you and they have been missing for a long time 
um, be weary of that. Don't make a special concession for anybody that hasn't been there as you've been working and putting in the energy and effort to build yourself and to grow yourself because, you know, if they weren't there with you, they don't deserve the reward and the abundance that comes from your energy effort, okay? But we all have free will and some people have no shame and feel entitled and they'll just show back up and try to act like everything's all right. And, you know, even if you do have a, an attachment to them, you might want to really consider safeguarding what you have accomplished and achieved for yourself and ask spirit to show you who's true blue and who's not. There's the reference of blue again. Who's true blue and who's not. Spirit absolutely will. I promise. It will, it's sometimes it, you'll be surprised. You're like, whoa, I would have never thought, but okay. And lastly, with this, um, there's a lot of blessings that are coming your way. Jupiter moving into that 10th house. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a, an astrologer. Just the way I'm feeling those energies pairing up together. And now all these cards coming out just like this. It, it feels good because there's the negative cards, you know, that come through. But it, it's, I'm not picking up on that. It's like the sadness, the heaviness that's been weighing on you. It's passing and your spiritual team is with you. And Jupiter moving into that 10th house pairing up with Saturn is a positive thing for you guys. So let's pull some tarot. King of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups, and Queen of Cups. So you got a lot of uh, cups. You also have a lot of people. Um, there's a lot of emotion going on, but uh, let's start here. So King of Pentacles coming through under a blessing to lift sadness. There could be somebody that you're aligning with. Um, it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or per potentially you are a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, and this person is going to help you, maybe, you know, open a door for you, give you an opportunity, offer you some really good spiritual advice. All right, um, but also with this, what I feel is, you know, this lifting of sadness is you coming into a place of balance and independence where you feel more financially stable and life just feels easier for you in 2020 while Jupiter is, you know, in that 10th house. And now, um, you know, the blessing to bring pro prosperity. We have this page of cups that is new energy coming in and being offered for you guys. Um, also, I do feel that there may be a new connection that comes in to your reality and this could be somebody that just really helps you it's like a somebody that teaches you or you partner with to study with it could be a new friend a spiritual companion a new person at your workplace if some of you could be getting a new job others of you that like have your businesses could be a new employee coming in that you're bringing in and they um, have a lot of ideas and really good energy to help you expand or go in new directions so there's definitely a new energy of a new connection coming in very positive it's a blessing from Jupiter into your life and now here ace of cups is like a reiteration of that okay um, but also I feel your relationships just in general are going to be easier and better and it's like no nonsense you're not going to entertain or put up with situations that drain you and you know take you away from your dreams and your goals it just fills with Jupiter moving into that 10th house everybody's more focused on like prosperity and what's good for my soul what's going to uplift me what's the long term what's going to make me happy where should I be putting my energy where am I going to get the biggest payout by investing myself into something that's just where the mindset is and um and so the way, you know, choices and 
you know, this is general, so obviously not everybody, you know, but the people who watch this, um, you know, Spirit knows who's coming to this reading, or Spirit aligns those of you to this reading, okay, and this, I really feel you have some new connections coming in, because there's three court cards here, we have the Ace of Cups, there's new connections coming in, and, um, you know, improvement to existing connections, and then over here, we have this Queen of Cups, so, uh, again, I feel there's a lot of good things happening for you and, you know, you might be better off with these new connections opposed to people who are trying to come back in because, honestly, you've got to be real with yourself. If you're doing better than you've ever done before and there's certain people not in your life and then they try to return, you've got to tell yourself, whoa, I've been doing better without them and maybe that's a sign that I shouldn't let them back in, all right? And just assess all your relationships, all of your situations in your life, and you will find some things, people that you're very close to, that, you know, where you were at when you met them or when you started getting really close to them, what happened to you during that point, where you were when maybe you guys uh, stopped having a connection or you just kind of drifted apart, what it took to get you back on your feet, you know, really assess those things. And if you're doing better now and they weren't there, you will not do better with them coming back in. Like they might mucky up everything that you've achieved and accomplished for yourself. So really take that to heart. That's been one really hard lesson that I've had to learn, and now I get it. And so you'll always feel the vibes of somebody, always, always, always. It's our desire and our emotional attachment that prevents us from really focusing on those vibes and just saying, oh, that's nothing, or I'm just being paranoid, or just ignoring it entirely. Really pay attention to the energies that you feel from others, and if things are going awesome for you, and you're making some new connections, you might want to let the past stay in the past because karma is resolved. Those connections fell out of your life for a reason. And if you're doing better, you're doing better without them. And just tell yourself that. And again, I just want to point out, this is what's transpiring over the course of the whole year as, you know, Jupiter is in that 10th house for the whole year before um, Jupiter and Saturn move into Aquarius. All right. Yeah, stability is yours at, while Jupiter is in that 10th house, especially in career. All right, let's pull some more tarot. We have the hanged man. The uh, Page of Swords. Seven of Cups. And the Death card. Yeah, see? <laughs> Spirit's like, really pay attention to people trying to come back into your life. Um, you know through December of 2019 all the way through 2020, especially if you are having a lot of success and things are going really good for you. And you know, some of you guys, this could just be where you have been working hard to get over a really hard breakup or just some situations that totally pulled the rug out from underneath you and finally you are back on your feet, things are going good for you, life feels good, and then this same trouble tries to come back in, don't let it back in because, you know, what broke you and left you to fend for yourself does not deserve to enjoy the, you know, rewards of your efforts and the energies that you've put out to the universe to better yourself, to grow yourself, to heal yourself, to accomplish things, you know, to be connected to society and offer, you know, love and energy and just being a part of everything. All of that matters. And I, I just feel like you are in such a good place Please don't let anybody take that away from you, especially if it ended badly before. I'm all about forgiving and forgetting and letting the air clear and, you know, we're cool, whatever. But I also really believe in if you screwed me over once, okay, 
maybe you've changed, but if every single time, like, it always ends the same with you, uh-uh, we could be cool, but at a way distance. Because, you know, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with not having bad blood anywhere. Um, it doesn't mean that you have to let any of those people back close into your life, you know, and always see people for what they are, you know. And sometimes there's certain characters, characteristics and qualities about somebody that are very endearing and that's what makes us love them. But, you know, don't get caught up on those things if you always are getting burned. Always, 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 because it's like here with the death card coming out is spirit saying what ended needed to end for your elevation, for your prosperity, for your momentum forward. And through those endings, there's new connections coming into your world because over here we have another um, card, another page, and another court card. So page of cups, page of swords, under blessing of prosperity. So this is like two brand new connections coming into your reality. You know, while Jupiter is in that 10th house, many of you may meet these connections through your career or um, furthering your education somehow, some way, just because of the placement of them. Doesn't have to mean that, but um, there are new connections coming in and this sadness, this loneliness, feeling stuck, restricted, unable to move forward, it's going to pass and your perception is shifting and then it's like things feel much smoother. Um, with the Seven of Cups, things that you had hoped for and imagined, like they're start, finally starting to manifest here through this Ace of Cups and, you know, um, you're, I, I feel like existing connections where they're not like they not connections that burn you. Uh, they grow stronger and there's new connections. But there's also some people trying to come back in and I just I don't feel like they're worthy and they'll screw up your flow. All right, let's pull some um, divine doorway cards for each one of these blessings and see what else spirit would like to add. Okay, so this is the first door, and this is going with a blessing to lift sadness, and it says, a stranger's grace. I love it. You are so going to make new connections. Ego fears the sudden danger, but never underestimate the kindness of a loving stranger. That's so beautiful. Yes, you are going to have support, okay? And push forward towards your dreams. <clears throat> and those of you that are unhappy in your current career path, I'm telling you with Jupiter moving into that 10th house, this is a great time to, um, you know, go back to school or take a course to learn a new skill or start putting your creative or artistic ability and talent out there. Just like do it. Just start. Just decide. I promise there is something that will come from that. Okay. And, um, you know, for those of you where you're really good in career and you're set, this definitely looks like it has a lot to do with relationships and connections in your life. And that's where the shifting is happening and taking place. All right. But there is new people coming in. And, you know, if you've been really burned by a lot of connections and so you're kind of a hermit now and you don't want to open up to new people, Spirit is bringing you some new people and saying, trust the kindness of a stranger. Um, you'll always be able to feel the vibes. All right. So the next door is this, and this is under the blessing to bring prosperity. Ooh, destiny. One door closes, another opens for you. Let the plans of destiny unravel true. That's lovely. Yes. Reach for those dreams. Do not hold back. This is the time, I promise you. Okay, this is the next door, which is the blessing of peace after the battle. And it says, inner power. Nice. Do you see how synchronistic these are? By your own command, you brought yourself here. At this moment in life, you have nothing to fear. Oh, I love it. That's beautiful. Things are going to be much easier and better. All right, lastly, under the uh, blessing to shield and safeguard you, here's the door. Oh, look at trust the universe. Intuition has wandered and led you astray. The timing's not yours, but the universe at play. Have faith and breathe. Ooh, okay. So 
you, the vibes, you, some of you feel like you were picking up on some vibes and you're like, oh no, I was steered wrong. Like my intuition lied to me and led me right into the lion's den. Sometimes that happens and it's not because your intuition was off or that spirit was trying to trick you. It's because what was down in that lion's den, you needed to learn to expand and grow you. And at the end of the day, you made it out of that lion's den and you are stronger and more powerful than ever before. Okay. So your intuition isn't broken. Spirit did not mislead you or abandon you or trick you. And so when things are really popping off for you, don't be afraid that the other shoe is going to drop or that, you know, every time something good happens, something bad happens to me. Don't even go there. Really trust the process in this. Trust the universe and call out to Archangel Michael to help protect you and you will feel that presence all around you. I promise. And, um, you know, the people around you, you, the vibes you feel, really trust in that and ask spirit for confirmation, signs, synchronicities. If you just feel any sort of confusion, you know, because you're a bit gun shy based on what's happened in the past, you don't have to fear like spirit saying, trust the process, trust the plan. Things are much smoother for you in um, 2020 while Jupiter is in that 10th house. Now, I'm going to pull a card for each zodiac sign specifically, and then I'm going to group it together by element and give a further message. So, let's start with Aries, and I'll just go through really fast. So, if you want to, um, you know, watch your sun, moon, and rising, you can just sit here. It will only take a minute. I won't go into too much detail but this is just a little extra personal for all of you guys. Okay, so Aries, with all of this, Spirit would like to add, spread seeds. Really put yourself out there. Don't hold back. Don't let rejection stop you. Put yourself out there. Do not be shy. Do not be scared. Do not be fearful. Taurus, harvest and sow. This is a time of big time reward and positive uh karmic return monetarily, financially, in your career, right there. Gemini, we have ferns, which is new wonders. Um, your crown chakra is opening up, and you, as Jupiter moves into that 10th house, you may find out of nowhere you have this desire to change your career path, or you get really um, interested into in something that you were never even interested in before. So if you're feeling that, there you go. Oh, right. Cancer, resolve conflict, the storm. So there's going to be a lot of healing for you guys um, in relationships. So, you know, there's that career, but um, you guys might be coming through more through that relationship. Next uh, is Leo, which is balance the emotions. Leo, you're going to have a big time healing to the emotional and mental body. You guys are coming through really strong with the sadness and this will pass. This will lift. Reach out to Archangel Raphael to help, you know, move you through the final process of this deep healing that's coming in for you guys. Virgo, we have the blue moon, a rare opportunity. So there is something magic and special like once in a lifetime coming around for you guys in 2020. Do not let it pass you by. Do not let fear or self-doubt hold you back. Jump on it once in a lifetime. Libra, we have spiritual quests. So for you guys, this pairing of Saturn and Jupiter in that 10th house is uh, expanding your consciousness and you're going to be more connected into your intuition and your like your spirit, your soul. And that's your guiding force rather than the logic of your mind, which might be a bit foreign to you, but it's like you're dropping into the seat of your soul. So, um, yeah, it feels way more of like a spiritual year for you guys with that uh, spiritual quest coming through. Scorpio, we have persist in pursuits. So similar to Aries, it's like don't give up, keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward, and you will prevail. Sagittarius, hidden realms, open up. Mm. Uh, many of you are meant to do some sort of spiritually based business or practice, or if that's not the case, you are like that you're being activated, your intuition, your third eye, psychics, mediums, um, another spiritual energy. So Libra and Sagittarius, you guys, there's something 
outside of this general message that's happening, um, some sort of spiritual activation taking place for you guys with this alignment of planets. And I'm sure that there it goes like Jupiter and Saturn being together in that 10th house goes so much deeper than I can even grasp. And Le Sagittarius and Libra, you guys are definitely getting the full extent of that Capricorn protection. Um, so for you guys, Capricorn, I feel you guys have the most likely of energies of people trying to come back into your reality as you're on the rise, as you're, you know, coming up and having your comeback. So you guys need to just protect yourself. Ask Archangel Michael to protect you and, you know, let don't even um, like shield your energy. So the falsity, the false people can't even come in. But also with that, what you achieve, what you accomplish for yourself is very protected. And Archangel Michael is with you guys for sure, Capricorns. Aquarius, fertile new role. Looks like you guys have a career change taking place or some other major change in your life that's like completely brand new. Some of you, I see you actually moving to like another state or another country. All right. And lastly, we have Pisces, awaken your magic. So Pisces, very similar to Libra and Sagittarius. Um, there, This is more of a spiritual time for you guys, and you are going to come into full awareness of the magic of who you are. Your manifestation ability is really going to pick up, and you're going to be able to really tie things together. So synchronicities are going to be like off the charts for you guys, okay? So let me uh, put these back down. So we have water there, earth, or air there earth and fire Hold on, I just need to get all of these down here okay You know, I feel with earth signs, um, you guys are going to have like a huge increase to like finances or resources. Um, there, it's very material for you guys. There's a like abundance manifesting for you guys. Um, and now air signs, uh, you know, Libra is coming through as that super spiritual energy and, uh, Spirit's just taking me back to Earth, so I'm sorry. I, I was trying to move on, but Spirit's like, nope, go back to Earth. So, Earth, harvest and sow, rare opportunity and protection. You guys have, like, high potential of a lot of, like, financial improvement, abundance coming in, very rare opportunity being presented and, you know, being aware and protecting yourself and your energy as well as calling upon Archangel Michael. All right. So earth signs, it is a year of come up for you guys financially, especially. All right. And, um, now, I just, I feel like Sagittarius and uh, Pisces, I wanted to, like, do, um, let me put, awaken the magic. I wanted to, you know, do it per, like, element, but I really feel like Sagittarius and Libra and Pisces, you guys are definitely, um, it's more of a spiritual time for you guys. Like that's where all of this positive energy return is coming into play. You're growing wiser. You're being very clever. Um, you're getting like all this insight as to how to better your career or where you need to expand yourself. So you're very connected in to the spiritual realm. Libra, Sagittarius, and Pisces. All right. Hidden realms open, spiritual quest, and awaken your magic. So, um... It's for the rest of you. Let's see. Spread seeds because Aries is like spread seeds. Fertile new roll. It's air. Cancer, you guys are resolving some conflicts. So, um, you know, here we have this. 
the fertile new role. Ooh, and somebody is outside honking their horn. Yep, it is time. Fertile new role and new wonders, you know, come together to me. And I say, Spirit totally hijacked my reading of how I wanted to do it at the end. But um, it's fine. It's fine. So, you know, those of you where these were your cards, fertile new role, new wonders. This is where you're, you're, there's a change in your career. You're changing the path of your career in a completely different direction. Or there's a major change in your life where you're moving. It's like big. It's significant. It's not something small. Um, so those of you that this was the cards I pulled for your sign, there you go. And then for the last of you, which would be Aries, Cancer, Gemini, it's like don't give up no matter what don't give up um and what you're trying to achieve and here it's like keep your options open don't just go down one path you know really put yourself out there in multiple places and uh it's just like because you you don't want to get like stuck in it has to happen this specific way because if you get your mindset that what you're trying to work towards or what you're trying to achieve has to happen in a very specific way if it's not happening like that then you feel like things are failing and, and things aren't working out for you so spirit is saying be very fluid you know in how you expect things to unfold put yourself out there in many different buckets like don't put all your eggs in one basket because there's some opportunities out there that may not seem as lucrative as others, but they're actually the long term potential is far more, um, f you know, fertile and long lasting than some of these others. So be flexible and but don't give up. Keep pushing forward. Keep pursuing. So ultimately, you know, this Jupiter moving into that 10th house with Saturn is a very positive Thing for everybody for all of us and you know nice changes coming into career it's a positive return of energy for everybody who's been really working hard walking the straight path trying to do the right thing doing the right thing when nobody else is looking all right and um, sadness lifting for sure expansion in knowledge and wisdom and more prosperity coming in Finally, some peace and harmony and flow in your life. And, you know, you're protected. You are safe. Safeguard yourself against people where you're picking up those vibes. They don't belong close to you. And there's definitely um, some really nice new connections coming in for everybody. So those are the messages with uh, Jupiter moving into that 10th house, um, pairing up with Saturn. And I hope that this has helped. And I'm wishing you guys all the best. Take care.